We recently received a brand new report informing us that the upcoming iPad mini may come equipped with a 16 CPU. The iPad mini may still not be available for another month or so, and the A7 Pro may still not be available either. In any event, I want to provide you with all the information about this as well as the pricing and release date for the iPad Air in 2023. The brand new design that debuted with the iPad Pro in 2018 is now present in every single iPad as of 2023. In 2021, the iPad mini received this design, and the next year in 2022, the standard priced iPad received it. The M series chipsets are available for the iPad Pro and iPad Air, while the A series chipsets, such as the A15 and A14, are still available for the iPad mini and the less expensive iPads. In order to prepare you for future iPad videos like the one you're viewing, I'm going to start by updating you on the most recent leaks and speculations. Following that, we'll provide a breakdown of the new iPad mini's official release date so you know when you can buy one. After that, we'll discuss the model's actual specifications and price for the most recent version. Next, let's discuss where the iPad mini stands right now. The iPad mini's 8.3-inch display and brand new design were introduced at the end of 2021, which was the last time it received an update. It also shares the same design language as the other iPads, as I've already mentioned. Additionally, it has an A15 chipset inside. In other words, this is the last update, and it appears that the iPad mini will receive a significant improvement in 2023, or possibly 2024. Next, let's discuss the A7 Pro chipset that will be found inside the iPad mini. When you give this some thought, it all makes sense. There have been numerous theories floating around that the iPad mini may contain, let's say, an M2 chipset. However, a lot of us already know that this just quickly depletes the battery, so Apple presumably doesn't want to do this. They most likely want to keep the A15 chipset's current battery life as close to perfect as possible. Thus, the A7 Pro is useful in this situation. Given how powerful the iPad mini is, applying it to it makes a lot of sense. We also have those quick USB transfer speeds, of course. Actually, we have been informed that we will receive the iPad mini this month, but it might actually ship with an A16 inside of it, rather than the A17 Pro I just mentioned. However, a new tip from trustworthy leaker Mark German claims that this is not the case at all, what Mark has actually said is that he doesn't anticipate him to arrive this month with any iPads, but rather later in the year. Therefore, maybe November will be the moment to receive the brand new iPad Air, iPad Mini, and possibly the 11th generation iPad with improved chipsets. But as events develop over the course of the next few weeks, I'm confident that all the facts will surface and let us know when it will happen, whether it's this week or if we'll have them before the end of the year. So as I've already stated in this video, don't anticipate any significant design changes with the new iPad mini. Remember the iPad mini from the previous generation or the iPad mini from today, it still exists but in a completely new form. So don't anticipate any significant changes there. As a result, this time we'll likely get something pretty similar. An 8.3 inch retina display is coming. After clearing up the most recent rumors and leaks, let's move on to a synopsis of what we currently know about the next generation iPad mini, what it will bring us, and how much it will cost. The iPad mini has the potential to introduce promotion for the first time with a resolution of 1488 by 2266. As a result, this will be increasing to a 120 HD display, albeit this may not actually happen. We might only receive the typical 60 HD display. However, Apple might do this given that smaller tablets with a 120 HD display are currently being released. However, there will likely be the same possibilities of 64 or 256 GB storage for the real type of baseline storage. This battery will have a 5,124 milliam capacity because it is anticipated that the battery size won't change. However, we anticipate that the 64GB variant will cost $499 and the 256GB model to cost $650. Do you believe the iPad mini needs to undergo any significant changes? Post them in the section below. Guys, if you've enjoyed viewing this video, kindly click the like button as well. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell if you want to hear the most recent Apple news, reviews, and comparisons. I'll meet you guys shortly until then.